Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working on my mobile chicken run, and what I want to do is attach a piece of cloth. This is a, a sheet that I've been using as a painter's cloth. I want to attach it to the top of this in a way that doesn't damage the cloth itself. There's nothing special about this cloth, but I want to demo this uh, sort of procedure that you can use. And if you ever have a piece of canvas that you don't want to punch holes through, but you want to tie it down to something, this is a way that you can uh, get it uh, tied down. So I've got a piece of short, uh, it's kind of plastic polymer string here, and I want to just melt the end so it doesn't fray here on me, and the other end, otherwise these things just turn into a mess, okay, they're melted, and now there's two steps here, and the first step is to create a simple slip knot on here, and then the second step, uh, step is to attach it to the fabric, so let's get going. There are two basic steps to secure this string to this cloth here, and the first is to put a simple slip knot in the the string. So what I'm going to do to do that is I'm going to make a little loop in the string just like that and then I'm going to take a loop from this side of the string, the long side that I'm going to secure to the, uh, the cloth and I'm going to push it right up through that loop there. This will tighten up and now I've got a, uh, a slip knot that will uh, tighten up on whatever I put it on. I'll demo that one more time. Nice thing about this is if you get rid of whatever is inside there, you can just pop it back out. So we're going to do a loop like that and then from this side, not from this side, if we do the loop from this side what we'll end up doing is just make a knot uh, that will uh, self-destruct itself as soon as you put any tension on it. So from this side we're going to take a little loop of the uh, string, put it up through the middle there and snug that, snug that on up. So now we've got a knot holding on to the loop, and as we put tension on it, it will tighten up. So now the next thing that we've uh, got to do, now that we've got this slip knot, is take a, a stone. Uh, really any stone will do. Uh, if it happens to have some angles on it, that, that's actually good. This is not really the best stone because it's very smooth, uh, but I think it's going to work fine anyway. But you take uh, some kind of a stone and put it inside your cloth, just like, like that. So we've got it kind of grabbed in there. Now we take our slip knot, put it around that, and tighten it up. And now we can put a lot of tension right in there, and this is a really great way of securing a line to a piece of cloth or a tarp or something that, like that without punching any holes through the tarp so you're not damaging the materials that you're using. So I'm going to take this, secure it down to the corner of the chicken run and uh, this should hold down this corner uh, really well for uh, quite a while and it's not going to go anywhere until the fabric itself decomposes. So I hope you find that helpful. Whenever you have spare materials that are kicking around, it's oftentimes nice to be able to use them, them in a way that doesn't degrade them for the, whatever the next use might be down the road. So if this is, wasn't a technique that you're familiar with, I hope you find it helpful. And if it was, make sure you let me know everything that I did wrong in the comments below. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.